Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. Today's video is all about how to get your parrot to eat vegetables. It's one of the most challenging parts of sorting out your parrot's diet. It does take a lot of time and patience. That is kind of the key to helping your bird understand that vegetables are food. Now, before we get started, there are a few things to bear in mind before you start introducing your birds to vegetables. The first thing is to make sure that the vegetables you are trying to give your bird are bird safe. There are some that are really not over. Uh, avocado is like the big no-no in um, feeding a bird vegetables. Uh, onions, leeks, that kind of thing. There are so many ones that are unsafe and loads and loads of choice ones that are safe. So I'm gonna leave some information down in the description for ones that you uh, can give a go and ones to absolutely avoid at all costs. The other thing is to make sure that you wash everything thoroughly. It sounds obvious, but um, you know, whether you're doing it for yourself or your birds, make sure you give all the produce a really good wash. There'll be some dirt on there. And also I recommend if you can, if you can afford to, to go for organic choices because then you haven't got the worry of potential pesticides. Um, but just do some research um, and just make sure you're picking out the best quality and the best looking vegetables for your bird to make sure they're gonna be nice and safe. And the other thing I'd like to mention before we get started is to make sure that you don't try it and starve your bird to get them to eat vegetables. I've seen a lot of people, you know, say this, they've left the vegetables in all day and the birds aren't eating it. That's not okay. I would say with any of these techniques that you're going to try, try them first thing in the morning when your bird is more likely to be hungry, but don't starve them. You know, do it for, I mean, obviously it depends on the bird, but I'd say for the first, half an hour maybe hour depending on the bird try these techniques with the vegetables see if you can get some interest in them if they're absolutely having none of it give them their usual diet you don't want to be putting them in a situation where they're going to go hungry or it's going to compromise their health so i've got a real variety of techniques to help with introducing your bird to vegetables hopefully one of them will work for you if you have any that i haven't mentioned but have worked for you please leave them in the comments below so we can all um have a, a look and a listen and see what works um, and i might even try some of them myself so that'd be really cool if you could get involved as well if you have anything to add to this video do leave them in the comments below but here are some of the ways that you can help your bird uh, start eating vegetables number one is chop now you may have heard all kinds of things about chop on the internet there are loads of different recipes i'm thinking about maybe making a video on some of my chop recipes if you'd like to have a look but um i think some people get put off by chop because it takes a bit of time to prepare um, some recipes online have like 110 ingredients which you don't have to do for every batch of chop i usually put four to five sometimes six depending on what i can get hold of different vegetables i chop them up really finely I put them in a little plastic tub with some beeswax wrap over the top and then that does us for about a week. I usually make too much because I'm really bad of portioning stuff out but that is fine for my flock of three small birds. Um, some birds will prefer chunkier chop, some will prefer finer chop so you can um, have kind of a play around with the sizings but I'm going to show you now what I'm using this week for my chop uh, to give you a kind of idea of what it should look like and what I'm using. So this week's chop consists of grated carrot, uh, red bell pepper, broccoli and green beans. I change it up every week um, and then this isn't all they get, they get healthy seed, sprouted seeds, um, leafy greens, this week they've got bok choy and rocket and then usually three or four times a week a little piece of fruit like some apple or grape, uh, mango is another popular one, uh, blueberries, all the berries really, strawberries, raspberries, so um, that's what a typical chop looks like. Now, as I mentioned in my chop clip, I do give my birds fruits usually three or four times a week. Um, that really depends on the individual bird, how much fruit you should be giving them. Fruit is obviously very high in sugar and shouldn't be part of your bird's diet every single day, unless you have a bird like a lorikeet, which has a high sugar diet with nectar and fruits and that kind of thing. Um, or if you have a bird that free flights a lot and it's you know fully trained and it's safe to do so, if they're exerting loads and loads of energy, then it's okay to incorporate a little more fruit than normal into your bird's diet. But generally, you don't want to be going down the fruit route. <laughs> Quite often, you don't need to use these techniques to get your bird sweet fruit. They're normally more than willing to eat the sugary stuff. Next up are using chunks of veg shoved through the cage bars. This is a really good technique because it kind of makes eating vegetables into kind of an enrichment kind of technique. So for example, I'm gonna show you in a second, I got a carrot, peeled it, washed it, and then I cut it into a size that I could sort of firmly push through the bars 
and everyone including Pickles who I couldn't get on camera because she's fussy um, loved chewing it and even when your bird is kind of just mouthing things and chewing things they are going to ingest a little bit of it and they're going to understand that actually this is quite a nice thing to be uh, snacking down on so it's a really good technique to kind of make it into a bit of a game so I'm going to show you what the boys thought of the carrot now You can also make different kinds of vegetables into a kind of enrichment device in themselves. For example, you can use the stalk of broccoli, the big chunky bit that probably a lot of us bin, um, but you can chop off the dry end and obviously chop off the, um, the green bits and then you've got the broccoli stalk and you can cut holes into it and stuff some seeds in there or their favourite treats or some nuts or other vegetables, maybe even some fruit as well, to make the actual vegetable into an enrichment device. And that will allow the bird to start chewing on it and start recognise it as something that it can consume. Uh, you can also do this with bell peppers, just another idea, or courgettes. So courgettes, you can do the same kind of thing because it's a similar shape. But with bell peppers, you can just top, chop the top off, um, use the seeds. The seeds from peppers are fantastic, so don't throw those away. Throw the little green um, top bit away, but the actual seeds are great. Um, and then you can use the bell pepper and fill it with different kinds of foods or grains, uh, sprouted seeds, anything that your bird really enjoys. And then it can sort of nibble on the outside of the bell pepper as well as trying to get into the actual goodies inside. So, so just as an example, I've got the broccoli stalk here and I've just carved some little holes in and I've put some millet buds in there, which are the boys' favourites. And then in uh, this one, which is um, a bit of green bell pepper, it's kind of the base of it. I've taken all of the pepper seeds out, put them in the bottom because they're great for the birds. And then I've also got some hemp seeds and some caraway seeds in there as well. So hopefully they'll enjoy um, picking around in those and having a bit of fun. So let's see what they think. So as I just mentioned, you can use sprouted seeds as a way of transitioning a seed addict onto foods that resemble vegetables. So I actually recently made a video all about how to sprout seeds. If you've never tried it before, it is very easy once you get the hang of it. I'm going to leave a card up the top and also a link in the description as well. The way that you sprout seeds is by taking the seeds that your birds likes or by purchasing some other ones from different websites. Again, I've got all the links on that video. So as you soak and rinse your seeds, they actually start to sprout and the sprouting process uses up the fat reserves that are actually within the seed. So unhealthy seeds or seeds high in fat actually become healthier and more appealing once they start um, germinating. So that could be a really good way of getting your seed addict to incorporate things in their diet. They're a little bit more like vegetables, a little bit more fresh, um, and that is a great step in the right direction. So as I said, I'll leave all the links around. Um, do go and give it a watch and give it a try as well. Let me know how you get on too. So next up are herbs. There are loads of different safe herbs that you can use for your birds. My birds absolutely love rosemary. Um, it's one of those kind of fun herbs. It doesn't quite look like a vegetable. It looks more fun, I'd say, and it's very aromatic. It makes your house smell amazing. Um, so I'm gonna show you a couple of clips in a second of the birds enjoying their rosemary. Herbs are fantastic. You can either incorporate plants into your bird's cage or aviary, or you can just buy them from the supermarket. My local Asda has kind of packs of herbs for about 50p, or if people haven't bought them, they can be reduced at the end of the day for really, really cheap. And it's such an easy way of providing your birds, not only with enrichment, but also something that resembles something green, something healthy. And it, again, it's another way like the spread of seeds of providing something like vegetables that isn't quite vegetables, that is really fun to shred and destroy and possibly eat as well. Now even Pickles loves herbs and she is not a fan of anything green. She's a real sweet beak. When we uh, first rescued her, she was on a diet pretty much of sunflower seeds and peanuts. Um, but she also had a mix that had some of those like dried fruits and things in. So she loves anything unhealthy and sweet. We've been working so hard with her over the last year to get her onto a much healthier diet. There's still some things she's not keen on and that's okay because we all have different preferences. Um, but it's really great to see her uh, after using these techniques, eating her vegetables because a bird being on an all seed diet, not just that, but an unhealthy seed diet, 
um, really shows in her feathers and this is what she was brought up on. So her feathers are very dull, not very good condition um, when we first got her and her beak wasn't in great condition either. Um, and since we've had her, and it's, it's a long process, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. It, it, we've had her for a year now and it's, she's still not um, up to where we'd like her to be with her condition. But the difference that we've seen already um, in her recent molt is just out of this world. So her feathers are so much more vibrant, um, great condition, lovely and shiny. Her beak is getting better. So having birds on a vegetable diet is fantastic. There are so many vitamins and minerals that your birds will be missing out on if they are not consuming vegetables regularly. In fact, one of the most common deficiencies for pet birds is vitamin A deficiency. Um, it's very hard to get those from seeds. I would say the best vegetables for vitamin A are bell peppers, um, carrot I believe, and leafy greens as well. If you can get leafy greens into your bird's diet, then you are on to a winner. Now talking about leafy greens, there are so many different ones to choose from. Um, chip and fish, they love kale. Spinach, there are some myths about spinach. Spinach is absolutely fine to feed your birds, like anything in moderation. Again, I'll leave a link in the description if you have any uh, concerns about spinach or if you've heard any myths or rumours, I'll leave all the information below. Uh, what else do you like? Rocket, um, Swiss chard, all the lovely greens, um, and bok choy as well, which is what I've got this week. Now, one of the ways to get your birds interested in leafy greens, is, again, is to make it into a bit of a game. So what I do is I wash the greens and then I thread them through the bars so it's a bit more exciting and it looks like a toy that they can just shred. And again, with shredding, they're still going to start consuming some and realise that you know, this is quite nice, you know, it's quite fun to shred this and uh, nibble away at it. Also, when you wash them, for some smaller birds, like budgies, it'll actually encourage them to start bathing because they'll rub themselves all over the leaves and it'll feel quite nice. So actually, feeding wet leafy greens is fantastic for your bird, not just for the nutritional aspects, but for the enrichment as well. So I'm going to show you what the birds thought about the leafy greens this week. Now if you have a bird that's really not quite sure about vegetables and a little bit concerned, what you can do is actually use vegetables that kind of look like seeds. For example, um, tinned sweet corn that has no sugar or salt added, make sure you check the ingredients, it's just sweet corn in water. Or you can use frozen peas as well, they don't need to be cooked, they can just be thawed out. And because they're kind of small, um, they look like seeds and that is a really good way of kind of tricking your bird. You can either mix them in with your seed mix or you can just feed them and most birds I think really like peas. I haven't found a bird yet that doesn't like peas so definitely give those a go. I'm going to show you what Pickles thinks of her peas. Turn the volume up because she makes some really adorable slurping noises. And finally, one of the most important ways to try and get your birds to eat vegetables is to eat them yourself. I'm not saying you have to have a high vegetable diet. I have a quite unhealthy diet, I have to say. I do like my vegetables, but um, they're not my first choice. Um, but if you sit down with your bird, if they like to kind of look what's on your plate, especially if it's something beige, they're normally quite interested. But if you've got some lovely vegetables on your plate, for example, peas or carrots or chunky bits, they might want to maybe steal a little bit from your plate. So one of the games that I play with pickles is the you're not allowed what I'm having game. And if you have a parrot, you'll know that if they think they're not allowed something, they want it even more. So what I do with her, which I'll show you again in a sec, is I, for example, get a stick of carrot, and I'll nibble away at it, oh, this is so fantastic, and I'll put it near her, and as soon as she shows a bit of interest, I'll whip it away quickly, like, oh no, you're not supposed to have that naughty birdie. And the more you do that, obviously you don't want to tease them too much, but the more you do it, the more they're like, no, I'm going to have a bit of that carrot, I really want to try that. Um, so it's a really good way of kind of having a, a bit of a play and a game with them. Obviously you have to let them have it, you can't just keep teasing them. The idea is that they're going to have the vegetable. But it's a great way of using that silly bird psychology to get them to think that they're winning over you when actually you'll get them to eat the vegetables. So it's, it's a good one to try and um, just be careful, of course, if you haven't got that bond with your bird, if they're gonna exhibit frustration with this, 
might not be the best game for you but you can use the other technique of having a plate of food and you can eat some and just allow your bird to eat off the plate with you so either one i'm going to show you what i did with pickles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nice oh it's so yummy isn't it mm. Yummy. <laughs> Clever girl. So that does bring me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed learning some of the ways that you can help get your bird interested in vegetables. As I said, if you've got any other techniques that I didn't mention, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'd love to give them a go and also it might help somebody else too. Um, but I hope you're all having a fantastic week. I hope your birds are well and take care and see you later.